Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to quickly go through what is mean by Kaplan Meier. So in science, if you study science, there's a plenty of you can see, especially in the cancer um, studies you may do, you may see a lot of this Kaplan Meier plot. So how do we actually go through interpretation of that? So let's just start with what does it actually mean. So really in definition, it's a non parametric statistic that is being used to assume the survival of function from the lifetime data. So this is non-medicinal approach definition. So really, when it comes to medicine, it solely wants to measure the survival of the patients over time elapsed following a certain treatment. If we do like a cancer patients, let's say they take it, undertaking drug X for the cancer they have, the breast cancer, maybe tumor, brain cancer, whatever, or, or versus Y drug. Um, and we took this as a parameter, as a treatment, and then we measured their survival chance. How the survival chance as a, uh, as uh, would correlate with the patients undertaking any of the drugs. So let's now see some kind of examples now. So I don't want you to as we know what HER2 means. So this is a gene encoding a specific receptor for a cell. Um, but what it really trying to say is survival. These are the two very important things to note for. So you need to look for the y-axis and x-axis. So x-axis is really time. We again we mentioned about the time uh, and remembering survival chance over time. And x-axis is free survival. So how many of them would survive over uptaking a certain kind of drug? In this case, we're not talking about the drugs or anything. In this case, we solely care about um, patients having too much of HER2 production, um, production of this gene. So in cancer, one of type of it can be amplification of certain kind of the genes, duplication of certain type of the genes. So here we can see that um, uh, the red denotes the patients that have more than five copies of this gene. So this gene um, is a receptor for the cell, maybe uh, Open too many of these receptors on a cell can cause the growth of the cell um, uncontrol uncontrollably, and um, this may lead to cancer. And the blue are the ones that have lower than five copies. So really, if you look at the y-axis, it's um, survival rate. So this is a prob probability. So maybe this is eighty percent, sixty percent, forty percent, twenty percent. And here is the and uh, is months after diagnosis. So as you can see here, there's a very clear thing that the patients that have larger than five copies of the gene, in this case here, have showed very, very, very much lower survival rate um, in comparison to those that didn't have it. So this means that the certain, certain cancer that is being caused, or certain cancer that is being um, arose um, can be due to overly amplification of this gene because the patients that definitely showed a lot of it died very early on in comparison to those that they, they didn't show this. So really, this is Kaplan Myers plot. Really, what it's trying to tell you is that um, after time, how long it takes um, the patients and how long they can last really um, with certain conditions. In this case, the condition was um, overly expression of this gene. Um, maybe sometimes we can see the patient undertaking a certain drug instead of this being another thing, drug X, drug Y. And uh, I have another example. Pause at it and have it go before I go over it to see if how can you go. But really, again, uh, here we have an NMIC gene. Again, I don't want you to know um, what it really is, but I think in short, it's, it's a gene that encodes for a transcription factor that can have a um, role in your growth, in your cell growth or anything like that. Again, we have a two different subset of population, uh, population that have a lower than 10 number of copies of this gene, and population that have a larger number of copies of the gene and meat that can encode um, for any proteins. So larger than larger um, number of copies, um, of a gene means more proteins of the gene would be expressed. Again, we have um, probability here, and X we have a year after diagnosis. So here the patients, they were diagnosed, 
and um, we classify them based on two, two um, subsets and uh, those that have a larger, those that have a lower, really in most of the plots you see that two subsets mainly or even more, but they are being classified as having undergone a certain treatment or having a certain condition. In this case, the large number of that. Then we can see on the y-axis always the probability of the survival of those patients. Okay. In this case, we can see clearly, um, similar to the previous plots, larger than 10 number of copies of NMIC gave a very, very low um, probability of survival, survival of those patients. So again, whatever the cancer being caused because of the um, and make be, whatever the cancer caused for the death of these patients could be clearly linked, correlated with the higher number of the endemic. So really, this um, these plots give us a very good illustrative figure uh, to show us to have to give us better grasp at what causes the cancer, if you know what I mean. Again, um, clearly, um, this is the Captain Meyer plot x-axis so well so uh, time after pass upon the first diagnosis, y-axis is survival rate, uh, and we can see that in this case, most of the time, having a large number of this case, uh, showed us a very low um, probability of survival than uh, and, and those that have a lower than 10 number of copies. So thank you. All of the image I use uh, belong to the text of biology of se cancer, second edition. I don't, I don't take any um, authorization of those images. So thank you so much for watching.